good morning in this lesson we'll be talking about two things first of all we'll try to understand that what does the term development means and how countries are divided into different categories depending upon their developmental situation number 2 we'll try to analyze the functional importance and role of organization for economic cooperation and development or oecd so moving on to our very first question what is development development is basically an ongoing process of growth that is brought about by changes in social and economic conditions within a country not all countries are equally developed however the healthier wealthier and more educated the people of a country are more developed it is considered let me give you an example to further clarify if you compare united kingdom with pakistan uk is considered more developed because in every citizen enjoys better health and educational facilities so now that we have established that not all countries are equally developed here comes our next question Are there any categories in which countries are divided into depending upon their developmental situation? Well, if you look at the world map in front of you, you can see that there are economies known as advanced economies that have been shown in purple color. Then, a few economies known as in transition economies or countries are shown in cyan color. Less developed or developing countries have been shown in orange color. and eventually least developed or underdeveloped economies have been shown in red color so yes depending upon the developmental index countries are divided into four categories advanced in transition less developed or developing least developed or underdeveloped so now let's discuss each category in more detail starting with developed countries A developed country is usually an independent sovereign state that is industrially very advanced and offers very good quality of life to its citizens. The two examples in front of you are Canada and Norway. The next category is of in transition economies. In transition economies were previously communist states and now they are transitioning towards free market or capitalism. The two examples in front of you are of Eastern European countries, Serbia and Kosovo. The third category is of developing countries. Our own country Pakistan falls in this category. Our government is trying to implement steps that can ensure that we transition from the league of developing countries to the group of developed nations. Another example is Brazil. However the question still is that what is a developing country a developing country is usually a poor agricultural country that is trying to seek social and industrial independence the last category is of underdeveloped or least developed economies or countries well these countries are in a chronic state of poverty and in addition to that there is usually a constant state of civil war which makes the economic and social conditions really vulnerable the two examples in front of you are of burkina faso and niger so now you know that there are four categories depending upon the developmental situation advanced in transition developing and least developed the next question is that is there any international organization that tries to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor countries The answer is yes and that organization is known as Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD OECD is basically an intergovernmental organization that assists developing and underdeveloped countries in seeking solutions to their economic problems It has 36 permanent members and most of the member countries are advanced nations or advanced economies You can see in front of you the flags of all the member countries. Some of the very prominent members are United States of America, United Kingdom, Denmark, Germany, Norway and Japan. OECD was established in 1961 and the headquarters are in Paris. Now the last question for the day. How OECD helps the poor countries? it does that through official development assistance or oda 
You can also see the terminology on your screens right now. ODA are basically the funds that are raised by the developed member nations of OECD to help the developing or underdeveloped nations. For example, every year, sub-Saharan countries receive around 25% of ODA to help them in improving of health and educational infrastructure. And certain island nations in Pacific receive ODA annually to help reduce the environmental degradation. Has Pakistan ever taken assistance from OECD? The answer is again yes. In past, OECD has assisted Pakistan in improving the taxation system within the country. Let's wrap up our discussion from today's lesson. We have discussed that development is a continuous process of growth brought about by changes in social and economic conditions. Then, we have already learned during the course of our discussion that not all countries are equally developed. Some are developed while others are transitioning, developing, and there are underdeveloped economies as well. Then towards the last bit of our lesson, we discussed that OECD, which is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, was established in 1961 and it strives to assist the developing countries in improving their economic and social conditions. This organization also measures the extent of development in a country and offers ODA, which is Official Development Assistance, if need arises. Time to work. There are two pages mentioned in front of you. You are requested to please read these pages and then try finding answers to following two questions. Number one, describe the role played by OECD to support development in developing countries. The next question is, Pakistan is officially a signatory of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. What benefits is Pakistan getting from OECD? That's all for today. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Have a great day and stay safe.